Hi there, I'm Anthony. And I'm Bron. And we're here in Canberra today. And uh, we're going to talk today about common or strange words you might hear Australian patients say, otherwise known as... Slang. So, let's get right into it. What's the first word we've got here, Bron? First word is crook. Crook. Now, crook's got two meanings, hasn't it? Yeah. So, crook can mean someone, I'm just not feeling very well, or... Yeah. Or someone who's done a bad thing, <laughs> like a criminal. <laughs> So it's not uncommon in Australia to hear a word that has a couple of meanings and you've got to understand the context. I would say normally if you're in a hospital and someone uses the word crook, they probably mean that they're feeling sick though. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> not that they're fessing up to a crime. <laughs> Absolutely. But there's lots of other words for sick, aren't there? What sort of other words have we got? Well, there's cactus. You know, so kind of like a plant, but not really. Yeah. So like I'm feeling a bit cactus, almost approaching death sometimes that can mean, can't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why well, that term yeah. comes from. But yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know why either. Um, sometimes when people have a hangover, they're feeling cactus too. So if they've yeah. had too much alcohol, that could be cactus. Buggered. Uh, that can be a little bit of a rude word, but... Especially if you're really tired, like, yeah, buggered. Yeah. Too. Often with older patients, I'm feeling a bit buggered. It's kind yeah. of a... You don't... I think hear it as much from younger people, but yeah. yeah. Some of these words you'll hear from different age groups uh, occasionally yeah. as well. And you'll notice that there's a lot of accent around some of these words, so like buggered or crook. So do you want to talk, talk us through sort of how you can yeah, understand? Sure. So what we're going to do is if you have a look on the screen, you'll see the vowel sounds in the phonetic symbols. And what that does, it just helps you to know which vowel sound to use when you're pronouncing that word. So hmm. there is another video that we can link yeah. to. Yeah. Bron, Bron's got some really super helpful videos that explain some of the, how you break down some of the vowels and I think consonants as well. And because one of the things I think doctors coming from another country, even if like English is your first language, you notice quite a distinct accent in Australia, don't you? And we put a lot of emphasis on the vowels sometimes. Yeah, um, and we have a bigger range of vowels in Australian English than yeah. in a lot of other languages. Yeah. So we have about yeah. 20 vowels. So yeah. um, for some people, they're coming from a language that has five. So there's quite a few more mm. that we throw at you. We love vowels. We love doing we lots do. of things. We love sticking them at the end vowels. of words. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, so the next one is knackered. Yeah, there's got, that's got some pretty uh, hard vowel sounds. in Knackered. <laughs> yeah. Um, so often yeah. the consonants almost disappear a little bit, don't they? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. So knackered, I guess that comes from you know what they do with animals in a knackery yard. Yeah. And, yeah, a bit knackered again, a bit tired, or maybe exhausted. Yeah, yeah. 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 Feeling a bit under the weather. Yeah, yeah. So like uh, feeling a bit poorly, I think is another way of putting oh, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. not your not your absolute tip top self, I think. Yeah. So imagine a bad weather day, not a nice weather day. So <laughs> you're not you know if it's hot outside, they're not. They're not actually excited about how they're no. feeling, yeah. They're under some foul weather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one I love. This this explains the sticking uh, vowels on the end of words as well. Yeah. Sicky. Yeah. Yeah. So if someone says they're, they're, they're having a sicky, they're actually not normally sick, are they? No, no. They're normally, um, they've had a big, big weekend. Or... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're just not feeling up to work yeah. on usually on a Monday. Yeah, That's so I mean, sometimes they are sick and they're having a sick day off work, but often yeah. they might be just having a day off and claiming it as a sickie. Um, yeah. So yeah, often it occurs on a Monday and a Friday, <laughs> or maybe a Tuesday after a Monday public holiday. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, very common. <laughs> yeah. So moving on to sort of feeling psychologically unwell. Yeah, so I'm feeling a bit mental. Yeah, so some of these are That's a little bit... Mental. Yeah. Yes, some of these can border on being a bit disrespectful at times, uh, but you know, you may hear people say you're feeling a bit mental or that that person over there is a bit mental. Mm -hmm. That means that they, they feel like the, there's something not right with them psychologically or the other person, so like a mental health problem. But uh, you have to be, I think with some of these words, you have to be careful about using them yourself because mm. you know the, some of them aren't particularly respectful to patients at times, including this one. Schizo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so schizo probably derives from schizophrenia, but you'll hear it used a lot just for any weird or, or, behavior, yeah, like or bad behavior or um, <laughs> hyperactivity. Sort of, yeah, so schizing out, doing something weird, strange. So often what the patient's not describing is symptoms of psychosis, by the way. It's just something unusual, <laughs> abnormal, yeah. or often it's a family member describing what's happening in their loved one. And I think it's important not to label 
that behaviour with the actual condition itself, which is quite serious, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Feeling a bit burnt out. Mm. This happens a lot in doctors in Australia. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Um, um, exhausted again, but yeah. more psychologically exhausted. I mean, yeah, it's I'm just mainly, so over it, like, yeah, I'm so burnt yeah, out. Yeah. You're just sick of it. Yeah, of yeah. That's why you go working. on. That's why you switch to becoming a YouTuber. <laughs> and then you burn out from Can't that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, frazzled. Yeah, oh, I've just so many things going on. I'm yeah. over it. I'm yeah, just so I, frazzled. Overwhelmed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, probably wouldn't use it to describe feeling sick, but no. more just. It's stressed out. Yeah, stressed out. Yeah, not yeah. not physically sick again, just kind of feeling the yeah. pressure of everything. Yeah. 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 Sort of more mentally. Which yeah, similar to this one, worry ward. Yeah. <laughs> now this is probably one you will only hear more from older people yes. again. Like, yeah. oh he's a worry ward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Usually, right. usually, you know, grandma might say that their son's a bit of a worry ward and, yeah. you know, fussing over them too much yes. and wanting to stick them in a nursing home because they yeah. can't look after themselves, that sort of thing. <laughs> so I'm, oh, I'm on the mend. Yeah, so this is kind of a positive thing. Mm. Um, the feeling better. Well, yeah. not not completely better, though. I'm getting there. Getting there. Like yeah. Making some improvements. On the way, better. yeah. Okay. Mending, getting better, yeah. yeah. So she's fit as a fiddle. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I think that's probably one from the older generations. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I heard this the other day. My mum was talking about yeah, how she's fit as a fiddle. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes they might not exactly be fit in your opinion. So this is kind of <laughs> leave me alone, doctor. I'm fit as a fiddle. Self judgment. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> not a medical. Yeah. Yes, it's a lay opinion rather than a. Yeah. So this might be an excuse to push brush you off a little bit. You know, yeah. I don't need those tests. Had Speaking of which, having a vom or a vomi oh. or a vomit. <laughs> <laughs> or bomb bomb. Yeah. As you might. yeah. Or a bomb bomb. <laughs> this is probably more the younger generation. Yeah, this is definitely a Gen Y and, <laughs> and later term. But, you know, so again, it's meaning to be sick, but uh, often associated with excess alcohol the yeah. day before. Yeah. 90% of the time. And yeah. it's just the word yeah. vomit. Just yeah. cut the end off. Yeah, right? so a great example of us Australians shortening yeah. words for efficacy <laughs> and making it harder for everyone else to understand, basically. That's so we go good. vom and then vomi just to confuse you again because we <laughs> you know, shorten it and then stick a, con a vowel on the end. Yeah, because we love ease. Yep. Yeah. Like Yawn. Yawn. Yeah. <laughs> Probably from the baby boomer generation, this one, although I hear it sometimes a bit from young people still. So, yeah, yeah instead of, doesn't mean, like, it does mean yawning because you're tired, but usually it doesn't mean that. It means yawn as in open your mouth and... Yeah. Mm. Having a spew. A spew, yeah. A bit like a vom. Yeah. <laughs> basically, these are all words that basically mean the same thing. You're, yeah. you're sick and you're um, chucking up. Having a chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Or a chunder. Or a chunder. Yeah. yeah so that's there's probably a, more younger generation. That, that's a that's a I think that's a grouse Aussie word though, chunder. <laughs> yeah, chunder. Yeah, it just sounds good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you like, just you kinda of drop the R at the end and emphasize the R. Chunder. Yeah. yeah like no chunder. Mmm. <laughs> Having a puke. Puke. There's another. Probably a bit more of a glamorous way of saying mm. the same thing, isn't it? Probably more a feminine way of putting it, I think. I <laughs> yeah. don't think men say puke very much. No. no. <laughs> men say chunder. Yeah. Women say puke, I think. Yeah. Sounds a bit more It's like it? more delicate and yeah. <laughs> less of it. Yeah. Then at the other end. Yeah, literally. <laughs> the Australians are very fascinated by their bodily fluids uh, and they have various terms for it. So, pass water means to have a, to urinate basically, mm. uh, i.e., to pass some water uh, Don't out. Don't people say this much? No, no, again, I think it's probably patients. an older generation one. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, of, um, sometimes it's a polite way of asking people, though, rather than some of the other words for urination. <laughs> so you, so the, you as a doctor might ask the patient, have you passed water this morning? You know, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah or, or just had a pee. That's probably the most pee? common. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pee's not too yeah. offensive. Gotta go have a pee. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't mean I'm going to eat a bean or something <laughs> like that. It means I'm going to P double E. Go to the toilet and yeah. do a num uh, whiz. Or have a whiz. <laughs> yeah, have a whiz. That's a bit yeah. more of a fun way of saying. Yeah. Saying. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm off to have a whiz. Yeah. yeah, it's something you might do behind a tree. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, at a, like a... Side of the road or... Mm, at yeah. a, a festival or a concert or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> or a piddle. Piddle? Mm. That's a bit like puke, isn't it? Sort of yeah. More of a fancy yeah. way. Yeah, I think... Little kid? You might hear a little kid use this term. I need to have a piddle. <laughs> yeah. That's a fun word. Usually adults don't say they're going to have a piddle. No. No. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favourite. Bron reckons you don't hear it very much, but 
What are the horses? What are the horses? <laughs> it's very abstract. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, you, you know, it's kind of a, uh, an analogy, you know, you, yeah. you're going to give water to the horses, you're basically going to let urine pass again. So probably from the older generation, yeah. yeah. Slash. This is the exact opposite. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a quick wee, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like only men take a slash. Yeah, that's right. And they right. take a slash. You usually do it outside. They usually, yeah. yeah, it's always behind a tree, isn't yeah. it? Well, sometimes not behind a tree. Yeah, so kind of, you know, maybe moving the urine around a bit as well. Yeah, in a maybe slashy the movement. Age group, yeah, you know? yeah, get it out quickly like a sword. And, and yeah. Usually like, when they've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Just after they've had a chunder. Yeah. <laughs> So this is all about number ones. Yep. Um, of course, there's number twos as well. Hi there, it's Bron from Pronounce Aussie English. And this is Anthony from Career Doctor. Anthony and I had so much fun making this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a like. If you would like to see the second half, then click on the like button. And subscribe to Bron's channel. And don't forget to subscribe to Anthony's channel.